Last night, in the regions of Ukraine the situation was uneasy again. As it turned out, on the night of April 20, Russian combat aviation, along with missile forces, launched another massive missile strike on the territory of Ukraine. This Russian missile strike was once again not only massive, but also combined. As it turned out, during this attack, Russia used dozens of missiles of various types, including geranium kamikaze drones. Each Russian missile attack was accompanied by the strikes of kamikaze drones. Throughout the night, the air alert sounded in such regions of Ukraine as Kharkiv, Dnipropetrovsk, Poltava, Kirovograd, Cherkasy, Vinnytsia, Nikolaev, Odessa, Zaporizhia, and Sumy. Even though the Kiev regime carefully hides any information regarding Russian missile attacks, independent journalists and experts continue to receive reliable information through closed channels and their own sources in the Russian military department. My friends, you must understand that with these daily massive missile strikes on military facilities and the energy infrastructure of Ukraine, Russia pursues two goals. First, to reduce the military technical and military industrial potential of Ukraine, in order to prevent the strengthening of the Ukrainian armed forces at the front. And finally, the second thing, is to completely destroy all the logistics of this country, so that NATO countries finally lose the opportunity to supply military supplies to the Ukrainian army. And judging by the numerous successes of the Russian army on the battlefield, daily massive missile strikes on the territory of Ukraine have already begun to produce results. So, on the night of April 20, in the Sumy and Kharkiv regions, Russian missiles along with kamikaze drones hit and destroyed the place of the deployment of the personnel of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine from the so-called Volunteer Corps, which were preparing for another sortie into the territory of Russian border towns and villages. As a result of this missile attack, dozens of militants were killed, including high-ranking officers of the Ukrainian Security Service and the Armed Forces of Ukraine. In Odessa and the northwestern part of the Zaporizhia region, Russian kamikaze drones and missiles hit and destroyed energy infrastructure facilities that the Kiev regime used to power local small production workshops that produced gunpowder for ammunition of Ukrainian artillery systems and small arms for the armed forces of Ukraine. By the way, it is also worth noting that Russian missiles once again hit an airbase of the armed forces of Ukraine in the city of Konotop, in the Sumy region. It is reported that this airbase has suffered significant damage. Moreover, numerous warehouses on the territory of this airbase were also destroyed, where unmanned aerial vehicles were stored and used by the armed forces of Ukraine in attacks on Russian oil refineries. Meanwhile, during yesterday's massive missile attack, the largest number of explosions were recorded in the city of Dnipropetrovsk. As it turned out, Russian missiles and kamikaze drones destroyed the transport infrastructure in this city, which the Kiev regime used to send troops to the line of combat contact and receive military supplies from NATO countries. So, on April 20, at 3 a.m. Moscow time, at least three Iskandarem ballistic missiles, along with 20 kamikaze drones, hit and destroyed the locomotive depot of the Dnipropetrovsk railway station, along with the locomotives located there. Moreover, Russian missiles also hit a section of the railway, near the Dnipropetrovsk railway station. The Russians launched a missile strike at the very moment when there was a train with military cargo, which arrived from Romania just half an hour before the Russian missile attack. It is reliably known that there was valuable military cargo on this train, intended for the armed forces of Ukraine. In particular, we are talking about dozens of Western artillery systems as well as tens of thousands of 155mm shells. 
The destroyed artillery systems were mainly Polish Crab self-propelled guns and German Panzerhobbits 2000 artillery systems. Unfortunately for the Kiev regime and the NATO leadership, all this valuable military cargo was completely destroyed. In addition, this Russian missile attack completely paralyzed the work of the Ukrainian railway in this strategically important area, as a result of which the Ukrainian general staff lost the ability to quickly transfer reserves to the front and send the necessary weapons to the Ukrainian troops.